Welcome to Zero Labs. Today is Wednesday, July 16th, 2014. It's almost 20 after 10 p.m. in the evening. I'm about two minutes away from igniting the bottle again. I want to catch it with the camcorder in manual focus mode this time. I forgot to put it in manual focus last night and I want to see if I can't capture this electrostatic discharge slash ball lightning event again and dissect it frame by frame like I did last evening. So uh, we're just about ready. Coming up on one minute. I'll see if I can see my stopwatch by the light of my monitor. If not, no, I'll just do it this way. Turn this monitor. Yeah, I can see it fine. All right. All monitors are off. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one. And there you have it. Let's see. Uh... Huh. It still knocked my uh, my bottle. Interesting. Still knocked my bottle off the. Uh... <laughs> off the piece of wood. I see what happened now. It actually uh, pushed the bottom out a little bit. but I can just pop it back into place, so that's why it didn't stay in place. That certainly explains why the bottle bounces. But still not quite enough. Interesting smell. Interesting smell after ignition. All right, let's turn the monitors back on, see what the guys in the chat room saw. Smells like, yes, it does smell like ozone. That's exactly what it smells like. I'll be damned, that is exactly what it smells like. How did you know? All right, so uh, that's it. The uh, next experiment is I'm going to refill the bottle for another 45 minutes, leave it capped, or I'm sorry, leave the cap off, and um, let it sit overnight. We'll be back at uh, between 6 and 6.30 tomorrow morning, and uh, I'll catch you then. See you in the morning. Okay, good morning, everyone. It is about 10 after 6 a.m. Thursday morning, July 17. I should still be in bed, but I'm not. I'm here doing an experiment, and uh, we're going to see if we can ignite George Weissman's electrically expanded water that theoretically has sat in this bottle overnight. Um, of course, I have my predictions. I will let the 
results speak for themselves. So it still does look pretty cloudy in there, but I think it's from the condensation that's collected on the on the side wall of the bottle. And uh, just in case, I will throw my earplugs in, turn the light out. I am in manual focus, so I should not lose focus. It's still dusk outside, so I might be able to darken the room fairly well. monitors are off and this is this is the test for overnight latent electrically expanded water in three two one okay then all right I don't think it matters how many times I hit this I'll even go in with my uh, my lighter. If I can find where I put it. Right. Well, I dare say we have uh, no combustible gas here. Now we don't even have enough oxygen in the bottle to allow my flame to ignite. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> of course, not, not totally unexpected. <clears throat> so that's it. Mr. Weissman was convinced that the gas that I was igniting last night after allowing the bottle to vent for five minutes was still his electrically expanded water. He did make the statement that <clears throat> he did make the statement that he did have his electrically expanded water ignite after sitting overnight with sparks from his grinding wheel as they flew past his electrolyzer. So this means one of two things. Either uh, I'm not making enough electrically expanded water or the electrically expanded water or the um, cluster gas that Maury calls it or whatever you want to call it <clears throat> doesn't exist or at least is not created All right, I, I, I will I will make this point it was, this point was made to me by Maury uh, it could be argued that you know this gas may still exist but it's not created by the VS, a uh, standard electrolyzer cell. You got to be a little bit more um, exotic. But if it's true that what I was igniting last night was electrically expanded water, then it should also hold true that this morning that same electrically expanded water or cluster gas would have still been in the bottle. And it's not. And I don't know how you explain that one away. I did take some slow-mo of, uh, of the combustion last night, though. Very interesting electrical discharge characteristics. I'm going to be doing more photograph, more uh, video taping, or videotaping. Listen to us. When is the last time you ever saw a videotape? No. Uh, a video, I'm doing more video recording of the 
combustion of the of the gas because there are some very interesting anomalies that do take place when it's not just uh, it's not just chemical it's electrical there is a lot of a lot of uh, electricity a lot of um, electricity being released when you ignite HHO very interesting so that's it everyone take care experiment is over at least uh, the, the primary experiment is over I will be having more fun with the uh, like I said with the video recording of the the electrical properties of a HHO detonation but uh, the primary experiment is done I really uh, have my doubts about this uh, cluster gas that's it.